If I was to ask you what is the most definitive Sonic modification to this date, chances are you would respond with either Sonic 3 Complete or Sonic 3 Air. Despite the latter being a very impressive remaster containing so many remarkable features, there's one fact that it certainly won't be capable of. It will never run on the hardware it originated from. That's when Sonic 3 Complete may be your best bet. But the question still remains, does it work on real hardware? For the longest time, I've been putting this off because I've reviewed this before but it was fire emulation, and I never breathed a word about it being compatible for the real deal. So today, let's put your minds to rest once and for all. But because of the aforementioned analysis, I'm not going to dive into what I think of the ROM hack. Then again, this video would come out quite short. So heck, why not try out the others too? Those being Metal Sonic Rebooted, Sonic Scorch Quest, and... Oh no, do I have to? It's no use! Four ROM hacks are put through its paces, will we get a clean sweep? Let's get started. Taking this seriously, I purchased myself a Japanese and European Model 2 Mega Drive to help develop more concrete results. But at the end of the day, it's always going to feel a little bit empty without owning a Genesis. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, what do we have here? <gasps> whoa. God bless America. Thanks to a viewer, Gaiman Clyde, for generously donating me a Genesis Model 1. And Model 2. Now I can truly say for my Sonic needs, it's all complete. <laughs> I still need a Wonder Mega. So, let's begin. And seeming as most of you were begging for it, I've decided to be a nice guy and bring Sonic 3 Complete to the table first. So here we are with the simple yet elegant Sega screen, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 Complete, with a choice of four games and options, which I'm going to have a mess around with to see what we can change, like the zone order, the difficulty, and even got Tails Assist on, which I'm going to have Sonic 1 2013. But don't worry, I'm going to keep fiddling around with the selections just to make sure that the game is as it's intended to be. Oh, and I forgot about the music options, although I never quite understood what event control means when it says pick by game, pick by zone. Would have been nice for a little explanation at the bottom every time you change an option, but that's just me being nitpicky. And I did say I wasn't going to go into the game specific, so let's load up Sonic 3 Complete and see how far I can get. I taxed all the available characters and their more powerful forms, made sure to see if the S3K save files would transfer over to Sonic 3 alone correctly, played some original as well as converted PC collection music, verified to see if my resume upon death selection was taken into account, Credits, bosses, title screen backups, everything that I threw at it, the console never broke a sweat. And if you follow my secondary channel, you may already be aware that the Blue Spheres mode also works flawlessly. This edition of Sonic 3 Complete will always have a special place in my heart. <laughs> yeah, because it comes with the box and manual, oh whatever. The point is, is that this game here on my flash cart may have just taken the top spot. Does Sonic 3 Complete work on real hardware? Yes. There you go guys, you can sleep easy tonight knowing that it functions with no issues. But we have three more hacks to try with the S Factor being next. Now I was highly critical of the Sonic ROM hack and it's no secret that I didn't enjoy it. However, playing it again for the sake of this video... <laughs> stand by what I said. For someone who played this during the hacking contest in 2013, then did a let's try video of it three years later, then made a full review out of it, and did a live stream a week later, I still got a game over in the second act of the second level. The level design is what brings it down the most and raises my anger. It's just so dreadful. It's just so... Ah! You said you were going to study the game, so stop derailing and just test its compatibility. Yeah, fair enough. 
I got as far as White Blaster Act 3 until I had to resort to cheats to obtain Sonya and Silver's super profiles and the key to level select. I gave both hedgehogs a go in either states, tried every single act, and peeked into the special stages. The game as a whole was working as intended, and after two hours of footage, I was about to call it a day. Until... Won't you look at that? It's frozen. And so will I if I don't go and get dressed, so uh, see you in a second. At first I thought it was an unlucky coincidence because I turned super again and again and it was fine. Until it erratically crashed once more. Hold on a tick. This is the same level as before. It turns out that Arid Temple Act 1 is the culprit and no matter what system I gave it a go on or if I switch to silver, this is the map that just keeps throwing a hissy fit. Now, as much as I'm not keen on this ROM hack, I'm not going to be a dick and hold the lockup against its final verdict. We know where it happens and how to evade it. Plus, playing the game in its intended fashion, you're not meant to be super here. And so, we can proceed with the question. Does the S Factor work on real hardware? Yes. So far, we've been on a winning run, but will Metal Sonic stop us in our tracks? This is Metal Sonic Rebooted. The first thing I tried was to see if the Japanese Mega Drive would bring up the Japanese title. There's our confirmation. Just like the previous two, I started from the beginning with checking the option screen and initiating the first stage to see how far I could get. Along my journey, I was really enjoying myself, but the special stages, they're tougher than I remember. I failed the first three a couple of times, but I was completely losing it on the fourth stage by one single ring! After six efforts to obtain that damn fourth Chaos Emerald, even the game straight up told me to give up. I was forced to start again, and as I had little patience, I put some codes in and tried a few other stages out. And of course, I overpowered the Metal Guy. I mean, who wouldn't want to at this point? Attempting the special stages to see if I can get Deja Vu, they were loading as planned. Maybe that lockup was a pure fluke, and it's crashed again. I then restarted the game, and as I was putting in the sound test choices for Super Metal Sonic, frustratingly, the game just hung there. This is so weird. Maybe my Japanese Mega Drive is just getting exhausted. Let's swap for the Sega Genesis. Alright, fine. Everdrive version 3, mwah, you're up. Okay, opening with the later zone, I managed an honest amount of gameplay, and it was looking all good. I mean, pfft, I overturned Silver Sonic's world along the way, but meh, that happens in the original Sonic 2 if you're not careful. Maybe it was just my X7 that couldn't handle... Ah! Why does this game keep freezing? Alright, that's the second major crash. Let me load Twinkle Slider. Okay, it's the game that we should blame. So it's time to boot up my most nostalgic console and see if PAL can give us a lending hand here. Um, I didn't even press anything. What's, what, it didn't crash already, did it? Well, okay, I've got the controller here. Um, let's see what happens. Ah, oh, I can't even get past the title screen. <laughs> this is fascinating. Really, really, really. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> wow. I cannot believe it's getting worse the more I try. Now, normally, this would get a no from me. But if you spam that start button, you can actually begin to play the game as normal. Until it crashes, damn it! It pains me that it has come to this, but the issues are far greater than what the S Factor was demonstrating. In comparison, this one just corrupts easily with no obvious explanation to ask why. And that has forced me to come to this conclusion. Does Metal Sonic Rebooted work on real hardware? Only because occasionally I was able to get a great amount of playtime, I'm going to rank this partially. Absolutely gutted with that result, as our clean sheet has hit the fans. But maybe Sonic Scorch Quest can turn our fans upside down. 
Well, there are no cheats apart from level select, which that only functions once the game has been completed. And with no work in SRAM, except to note when the game has been finalised, we just better PRAY that there will be no game breaking corruptions along the way. Ok, first things first about this game. Up, down, left, right. Ok, the easter egg is in full work in order. I guess you can say that my spirits have been lifted. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, that was a terrible joke. The aspect you guys are probably anticipating the most is if the inaugural cutscenes and if the oversized badnik encounters act as proposed. And to my surprise, they're all faultless. All fire effects are burning through the tests, albeit it does drag the game down quite often, and the heavily influenced special stages are still one of the easiest I've played in any Sonic ROM. Apparently, in Special Stage 4, if you hit just one single spike ball, then you can kiss your gameplay goodbye. I had to start my gameplay over from scratch, and after finally reaching the same area, I barely just made it. And from here, I'm actually happy to state that no more error reports were generated. I got to the end of the game smoothly acquiring all the flame emeralds to become Burning Sonic. No faults here. I strained all variations and came across an interesting fact. Play this on your power machine and you'll quickly realise that... Yep, the music is unoptimised. I can't be sure why the sound driver never got updated, but I guess that was a feature the title wanted to preserve. I think with this one we have the same conundrum as the S Factor. We only have one crash to account for and we know how to avoid it. With that in mind, does Sonic Scorched Quest work on real hardware? Yes. Four popular Sonic ROM hacks, all strained for console cooperation. With some of them stumbling along the track, they were all mostly positive. It's unfortunate Metal Sonic rebooted power down more often than I hoped for, but at least I can say for certain that Sonic 3 Complete continues to impress me. And that's all four games tested. Ooh, I think I'm gonna go and cool down for a while. Ah, stay away from me! Stay away from me! Yada yada yada, bala bala bala, swing swing! 